So those moments where you think that you can sing and you know you like, Lord, I really can't sing. But you know, you be like, man, I really want to get this, get these words out. And then I just feel a tune in my soul, you know, that fighting for me. And then you just hit it with the, and he's fighting for me. And then you hit it with it again. And he's fighting for me. And I want you to know that he's fighting for you. And he's fighting for you. And he's still fighting for you. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. Through the pulling down of strongholds. Because he's fighting for you. And he is fighting for me. And I want to let you know that he is fighting for you. And he is fighting for me. Hey, that crown of nation. It's your girl, Nanny Royal from NannyRoyal.com. And I was just having some good time with my son. And I don't know about you, uh, parenting doesn't come with a manuscript. I've been having some issues with my older son. But as I sit here and rest in this moment, because I was like, God, I thank you for allowing me to be a mom. I love being a mom. But sometimes those challenges hit harder than others. And I, I just want to encourage someone that he is fighting, fighting for me. Oh, yeah. He is fighting, fighting for you. I don't care what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. I decree and declare that your son and your daughter shall rise up and be the man and woman of God that God has destined them to be. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it feels like. It does not matter what society says. God has the final say. He's free. Your, 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 your one-on-one time with God doesn't always have to be all of the big words. It's really just being open. It's, it's really being vulnerable. And whatever comes on your, your heart and your mind or comes in your heart and your mind, because I was saying that, you know, this just randomly came into my mind and my heart. And I'm not a singer, but I felt, and he is fighting for me. This is what I actually heard. And so it started coming out like this. And he is fighting for me. And he is fighting for me. And he is fighting for me. And he is fighting. Is fighting for me and he's still fighting for you yeah our God is amazing he is the God of the angel army and he's fighting for me and he's fighting for our seed dear God I thank you for fighting. I thank you for fighting for us. I thank you for fighting for us. I thank you for fighting for us. When the world is coming against our children, I thank you for fighting for our children, raising them up, holding up a standard. You said, oh God, that you would cover us and cover them, oh Father. You said if we delight ourselves in you, you would give us the desires of our heart. God, you said train up a child in the way that they should go, and when they get older, they won't depart from it. Abba, we know that you are a master's God. There is nothing that can compare to you. There is nothing, oh God, that can supersede, oh God, what you are and what you do. And so there's nothing that the enemy can do, oh God, to our seed, oh God, without you allowing it. Oh God, we bind the hand of the enemy. We overthrow his wicked plans. We renounce everything and anything that will hinder them from the full will of God for their lives. We thank you, Father. I come to you, oh God, and I touch and agree and I stand in the gap, oh God, for those people who are looking for you to cover their children, for those people who are looking for you to bring those children back. God, we but we thank you and we thank you and we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your love. God, we thank you for sending your angels before them, oh God. I decree and declare, oh God, that their mindsets will be shifted. I decree and declare that they will not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of their minds. I decree and declare that they shall be washed through and through by your blood, oh God, and your Holy Spirit, oh God. I decree and declare, oh God, that, that these prayers will go to them, oh God, wherever they may be, oh God, that you may touch their hearts wherever they may be, oh God, that you allow them to put on the mind of Christ, oh God, that you soften their hearts, oh God, get into their heart spaces, oh God, allow these things, oh God, that their parents, oh God, have gone through to not affect, oh God, their futures, oh God, in the name of Yeshua, oh God, we destroy, oh God, and we dismantle altars, oh God, of the enemy, oh God, that makes them think, oh God, that he has the upper hand, God, we know that you will win in the end, oh God, even in our legacy, even in our children, even in our seed, and you cannot have them, Satan, you, you must let them go. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, you must 
let them go. You must let them go. They are attached to a righteous seed and they must be let go in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. I decree and declare it done. See, it as done in the name of Jesus. If you have been suffering and if you have been crying and toiling and toiling, I speak over you today, this day, that no worry shall come over you this day. No more worrying. No more, no more, no more, no more suffering. No more depression. They will become everything that God has called them to be. You believe it. You claim it. You decree it and declare it in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And it is so and so it is. In, in Jesus' name. In Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. And we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We are grateful, Father. Because you are a good, good Father. You are a good, good Father.